Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. I figured since I enjoyed doing yesterday's video, why not do a similar one today? And well, today we're going to be talking about Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch about a week and a half, two weeks ago uh, for reasons unknown. He hasn't stated the reasons. Twitch hasn't stated the reasons besides TOS violations. Now, Dr. Disrespect had an interview with PC Gamer recently where he discussed these issues, what the plan for the future is. Uh, he doesn't really get into why he was dropped from Twitch, but he does share a bit of insight into the situation that we didn't have as of a few weeks ago, or a week ago rather. Now, it's almost been three weeks since you were banned from Twitch. I imagine that it's been very frustrating. I would love to start with just hearing what's been happening behind the scenes with you, what's been going on these past three weeks. Guy, Dr. Disrespect Bean. Sure, I mean, well, a lot of stuff, obviously. You know, while it's unfortunate that I'm off Twitch, we're definitely working behind the scenes on what a doctor return might look like. In terms of the specifics around that, we're not interested in exclusive at this point. We're exploring our options and honestly just can't wait to get back into character soon. We have a lot to do and I'll be wherever fans want me to be. And you know that's been our approach. Obviously, he's been fan focused. He has his own website and potentially maybe he even brings up going over there exclusively, meaning that he'll start on his platform and just do it that way. But when it comes to exclusivity like he had with Twitch for roughly 20 million, 25 million, I believe, he won't be doing that anytime soon. We still don't know why not. Damn pop-ups. Anyways, uh, when you say you're not interested in doing exclusive, can you clarify? Well, let's just say all the cards are on the table. I'm more focused on just making sure what we do next, whether it's platform move or not that it's the right decision for the community and Champions Club that follows me. And that makes sense to what I want to continue to accomplish with this character in terms of taking things to the next level and whether it's streaming or outside of streaming. So it's just being conscientious of that decision. Clearly, he's playing his cards close to the vest with this. He may know, may not know, what the situation that caused Twitch to bring him down, whether it be something legal, like many have speculated. But throughout this interview, after reading it, it does not seem like he's worried about any kind of legal issues. He's not talking like someone who is fearful or has any kind of worries when it comes to uh, something on the legal side or if he's done something illegal. However... He did not share or elaborate on how he uh, or why he got banned. He did share how he received the notification. And while he was on a stream with a friend, he started having features that he normally had started disappearing. And him and his wife were kind of tripped out. They did not know they were banned. They did not know that Dr. Disrespect had been removed from the uh, Twitch program, he just saw these features that um, affiliates and partners with programs have start disappearing while he was in the chat of his buddy's stream. Given that connection that you have with your audience and how important that is, I'm sure you can appreciate that there's been a lot of concern and worry over the past few weeks. Why don't you give people an update just to say hi, even if you had nothing to say? Well, to be honest, okay, so we got the news, you know, it was just, it was completely, it was a total shock. Imagine just going to work one day and the door is closed and you can't get inside and you've been told that you were fired and you weren't given a reason why, you know? And so for me, it's just an initial shock. The way I discovered it too, I was on a buddy stream and some of the features started turning off while I was just in the chat and everything. And then all of a sudden social media was blowing up. I got a call from my, uh, I got on a call with my team and after one quick email, it was all over. 
at that particular moment, it was more of just kind of shocked, like what just happened, you know, and both my wife and I are just like, what's going on? So that's kind of how initially how things kind of went down. And then from there, you're just sort of digesting it. You're still not getting any answers. So that's kind of why I had, I wouldn't have known what to say, you know. We put out one tweet, our statement, and that's kind of where things are at. <clears throat> Which clearly, he may know, and he may have to keep it close to the vest, because if they did not pay him out on his contract before they uh, broke terms with him and basically negated the contract, if he didn't do anything to violate the terms of the contract, then there could be a legal dispute coming up. And so that could be why he's not sharing details with people, which would make the most sense. That is a pretty lucrative and big contract that they voided on basis of terms of service. If they did not elaborate to him and just started removing systems without letting him know they could find themselves in a bit of hot water over at Twitch. Who knows, to be honest. It's one of these things where it will come out in time, but it's been two to three weeks and nothing's been dropped from like police departments or DAs or anything like that. So me personally, I don't believe it's anything of the legal kind. Maybe they were just ready to get rid of him because of the stuff he was bringing up and saying about uh, different things going on in the world today with uh, certain illnesses and other things in order to keep him from, I don't know, bringing that to their platform. They didn't want that on there or something. Who knows? Especially since he is a massive partner with them. So if, if they breach terms, I really hope he does take legal action. It is the best route to go. Uh, there's more to this article, and I'll include the link down below. If you don't see the link, just search Dr. Disrespect Interview. It's live on PC Gamer's website. There's a ton of it going on, and it's actually interesting to read. So definitely take a look. He does have plans for other things going on, potentially TV series, stuff like that, using the character blended over from the, uh, the streaming as well as on some sort of series level. Well, that's all, guys. I do appreciate you guys hanging around. Obviously, I didn't want to spoil everything and bring everything to the table because it is a long interview. Uh, if you're interested, like I said, check out the link below. Also, be sure to like, share, and comment. That is extremely helpful. And if you really like the video, share it out on your social media platforms. Uh, I am over on Storyfire AG Luck over there. A really great platform that is a blend of Twitter meets YouTube. I personally don't have video uh, posting ability yet. They're rolling that out slowly to people, so I bet the system doesn't get overwhelmed is where they're trying to head with that. But the social features are really cool. There's a lot of really cool stories and writers over there because you can publish your own works on the platform and people can tip you with the in-app uh, currency, which can be earned by just logging in and interacting on there. People can donate your quote-unquote stories, um, whether it be on the social side or full side uh tips pretty cool platform check it out storyfire it's ios and android as well as available on windows but the, the app works really well thanks again for watching i'll see you guys tonight because i am getting ghost of tashima and we will be streaming that on 8-bit hooligans and on the d live for ag luck thanks again guys